Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about a one-man room clearing as it pertains to a home defense situation. Before we get started, once again, ensure that you are using a training tool. Do not, for any reason, use a real gun, even if it's unloaded. Accidents do happen. It happens all the time, and you don't want to take that risk, okay? So in this situation, this door is off limits. This staircase is off limits. I know either this is the only direction I have to go or I know the intruder is in this room 100% okay back in the day even with a one-man clearing we would do a forced corner entry meaning we would come in go to the corner and we start sweeping corner to corner still an effective measure but we're exposing ourselves to more area at one time than we need to so it's best to leave that to a two to four man entry okay <clears throat> so if you can look right here, I'm clearing about 10% of this room right now. And all I'm doing is I'm moving in this manner to clear little bit by little bit until I go corner to corner. Now, I still have obstructions in here. I have a dresser, I have the other side of the bed, and potentially something else at the moment, okay? What you want to ensure that you're not doing here is getting sucked into this doorway to clear as much as you can over here because now I'm exposed over here. This is not cover. It will not protect you. This is classified as concealment. So we're using it to enhance our element of surprise. If I overexpose myself, they have a gun, they start shooting, you are going to take rounds if you're lined up, okay? In that line of fire, okay? So clear as much as you can. Don't over penetrate. Now once I clear, from corner to corner, I still don't want to push forward because now I'm exposed to 10 to 15% of this area over here that I haven't cleared yet. So I'm back out of this door frame, cleared. Now I'm going to get my sights about six inches off this door jam, and I'm going to clear to this corner. Nothing's there. So the closest thing I have to me is this dresser. It's a small space, but believe it or not, someone can hide behind that. So even though this is my focal point, my peripheral is still looking on the other side of the bed. So once I feel that this is clear, I can still see over here, I change positions and only expose what I need to, all right? The perpetrator was laying on the ground. Maybe he heard me, maybe he's taking a nap, but nonetheless, he's on the ground. He went for the gun. I shot him, okay? Realistically, if I'm positioned here, even though if I were to shoot someone, there's still good 20 degrees over here that hasn't been cleared, do not leave that uncleared. This has happened before, so just ensure that you clear everything and do not overexpose yourself. All right, if you guys got any questions or have any comments, put them in the comment section. Have a great day and God bless.